Hey everybody, this is Paul, and this is Aeonium Blushing Beauty. Now believe it or not, these are the same plant. One is grown in full sun, the one on the right, and the one on the left is grown in shade. Now, uh, this is a member of the stone crop family, native to the Canary Islands, produces yellow flowers, and it's a cross between, look at these, I have each in my yard. This photo here is the green uh, Aeonium canariensis, and this black one here is Aeonium arboreum zwarkop. And so these two were mixed, and look at what they produced, it's amazing. Um, so they'll grow one to two feet tall, two to three feet wide, and they are produced by Jack Catlin in 1976. And he says they grow more uh, red when you grow them hard. They blush more when grown hard. So there you go. You can see that's grown hard in full sun. And here's shade. So they still do get a little bit of blushing on the some of the leaves in shade. And as summer uh, comes along, these ones will get a bit more blushing. But you can see it's unbelievable. They almost look... They don't even look like they're the same variety, but believe me, I got these off of the same plant here. So pretty amazing, Aeonium Blushing Beauty. I really like this Aeonium, and I recommend growing them hard like he recommends, is, and that means growing them in full sun or, or don't, giving them, uh, don't give them too much water, especially when they go dormant. Now they will uh, close up more in the summertime, and they're very, very striking and beautiful. So uh, they do tend to form tight rosettes or clusters here, you can see. They like to kind of do that. And then last year, a bunch fell off when it got hot. And so now I have lots of pups. So again, this is Aeonium Blushing Beauty. Grow it hard in full sun, you'll get some really stunning colors. All right, give us a like and a subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Dude, it's creepy.